Today, we are talking about one man who recently hung up his boots. It is, of course, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Zlatan has given us decades of unforgettable moments from gravity defying goals to witty one liners. Lions, they don't compare themselves with humans. <laughs> He's played for some of the biggest clubs in the world, including Barcelona, PSG, and AC Milan. And today, to honor his journey, we are going to recreate that journey, starting him off back where it all started, at Malmo. So here is a fresh-faced Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He is 16 years of age, back at Malmo in Sweden, where his journey began. Now, I will say with Zlatan, his career took him to all sorts of countries. He was high ambition, high volatility, I would say as well. In certain instances, he's played for some of the biggest teams in the world. So let's see what happens a second time around. This is what we've done with him attribute wise. I think he looks pretty similar to what uh, Zlatan would have been. Obviously, he's 16 years of age now. He's six foot five. Nice natural fitness because even it 40 plus i believe he was when he was retiring he was still pretty athletic still in fantastic shape high flair high determination and that really really good audacious first touch as well so this is how he looks at the start let's flash forward five years into the future to see what Zlatan does a second time around. So we are five years into the future and Zlatan has left Sweden. He now finds himself in the Premier League at Brentford, but that is not the biggest change in Zlatan's career a second time around. I have to say, he's declared for Croatia. Now, there's part of the reason behind this, obviously, Zlatan does have joint nationality, Swedish, uh, Croatian and Bosnian. And in this instance, because there was the World Cup in 2022, something we can't really do anything about, he declared to play for Croatia. So this is going to be a very different turn uh, for Zlatan. Obviously, he could have uh, signed up to play for Sweden. But uh, yes, he decided to go and play for Croatia instead. And what a record he has at the international stage. 55 caps for Croatia right now and 63 goals. Looking at Zlatan, he looks exceptional right here, right now. High agility, which is I think is fair for Zlatan. He wasn't quick, but he's still agile, still got the moves, and he looks fantastic. Mentally, also, also what you would expect. 20 now in terms of that first touch, high technique, high passing. Zlatan had it all in his locker, um, and his goal scoring record has been pretty impressive. On the right hand side of the screen, though, you can see his career so far. So let's talk about that super quick. He left Malmo after a couple years in Sweden, uh, where I assume he did only good things for Malmo. They are one of the biggest teams in Sweden as well so he left Malmo and went over to Rangers over to Scotland for 2.2 million pounds and then Brentford have snapped him up in the most recent season in the Premier League for 9.75 million quid now I will say he's gone on to score 38 goals in his opening season in the Premier League 69 goals in 65 appearances in all competitions Zlatan is a absolute monster. If they're putting him at the near post for these corners, you can see why. Um, and obviously, he's gone on to be very fantastic in a lot of these things. If we go and take a look at some of his achievements in these first five seasons, I won't do this every time, but I don't want us to lose touch in what happened with Malmo. So he got his first international cap for Croatia against Gibraltar, age 17. He's already won a Swedish title, uh, another Swedish title, uh, a third Swedish title. He's also won the Euros with Croatia. That is ludicrous. He won the Euros with Croatia. Fair play. Uh, and then he's gone on to do good things with Brentford in the Premier League. Obviously, he's won uh, the Champions League with Rangers. Surely not. Surely we're not having that. He's won the Champions League with Rangers. Okay, fair enough. Fair play, Zlatan. Dominated Scotland, as you would expect. And then going over to the Premier League, he's doing good things as well. Carabao Cup winners, Premier League champions with Brentford. Uh, 90 points for Brentford. Fair play. Zlatan, top goal scorer. Second highest average rating in terms of um, average rating. Uh, second, uh, sorry, top of the player of the matches as well. Um, Zlatan's gone on to be quite the phenomenon in the first five years. Let's jump forward another five years to see if he's still fighting out in the Premier League. So it's been another five years. We're 10 years back into the career re-simulation of Zlatan Ibrahimovic and he's moved twice again. He has left Brentford. He then plied his trade at Real Madrid. This time he didn't go to Barcelona. He did not work with Pep. Obviously they had their little discrepancy but he went over to Real Madrid and he now finds himself back in France but this time 
at Monaco. No PSG so far, and Zlatan is looking unreal right now. I think the acceleration and the pace has kind of gone a bit beyond. Obviously, there's only so much we can control in this, but he's now up to 120 caps for Croatia, 152 goals. It is ridiculous. He is looking... This is probably too much, I would say. We put him at a really high potential to kind of see what he could have done a second time around, but I think he's kind of gone onto the realms of potentially too high with this. I will say some of his player traits seem to suit Zlatan to be perfect as well. Shoots with power, yep, most certainly curls the ball, yep, winds up opponents, yep, tries tricks, hits free kicks with power. This guy's got it all. Like, if this came through as a new gen, you'd be absolutely mortified about it. Um, He transferred to Real Madrid, guys for a world record 332 million pounds yes he kind of battered his way through the premier league uh, with back-to-back -back seasons with brentford scored 42 in that second season in the premier league when real madrid came calling i guess in this instance you don't need Haaland, you don't need mbappe go sign this guy real madrid and it looks like they did do that three seasons with them in la liga and then for some reason his contract ends and he leaves on a free and goes to Monaco. One can only assume that that is because of his volatile personality, which is very, very interesting to see. He is outspoken, of course, in his media handling style. So, 10 years into the future, he's played for four or five different clubs already, obviously, if we discount Malmo, maybe, um, which is obviously where he was going to start. Let's see what happens another five years into the future. So, we're now 15 years into this career simulation, and Zlatan has finally found his way to Italy. He is now playing at Lazio. Obviously, you can see the Lazio shirt on the wall behind me. I am a big Chiro Immobile fan. He now finds himself at Lazio, but he's been via the way of Germany and Portugal to get here. He's st starting to slow down a little bit, starting to show his little frailties, if I can call them that, with his age. He is now 31 in this secondary coming of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Um, and if we take a look at his career so far, obviously, he had that one season at Monaco that we discussed uh, in the last check-in. He then moved to Bayern for 144 million pounds three years in germany then he goes over to benfica then he moves over to lazio and he moved over to lazio and i've noticed he is uh transfer listed and his contract is ending at the end of next season so it's the, currently the end of the 2036 37 season his contract will be over at the end of the following season and he's already said he's gonna leave for free again it must be a clash of personalities with that manager and it's just not worked uh who is the uh, lazio manager albert capellas i don't know who this is but uh yes he is the manager of Lazio at this current time and he's going to leave on a free transfer unless somebody stumps up over a hundred million for him age 31 I don't know if that's going to happen his transfer value is only 38 million quid but his goal scoring records have been phenomenal in this latest season he got 80 8-0 in all comps it is absolutely ludicrous and I've just seen that Lazio have uh, won the title as well if we go back to him there you can kind of see his goal scoring records have been absolutely phenomenal he's scoring over a goal a game which is kind of what I would expect out of this sort of caliber player in this match engine if you know how to get the best out of them and it looks like his managers are doing so we're going to do one more check in guys it's going to be five further years into the future it's going to be the end of Zlatan a second time around so the second coming of Zlatan Ibrahimovic is almost over we've gone through another five years in this simulation and he actually finds himself back at Monaco he's bounced around even more this is almost looking a little bit longer than his actual list of clubs in real life he's been over to Mexico he's played in Argentina he's played in Brazil he had a spell in the MLS but this time at Montreal he did not go to LA Galaxy this time around uh, uh, as he uh, proclaimed in the press, taking out a full page ad in the LA Times saying that Zlatan is here. Don't worry, it's brilliant. There's also a story of LeBron James sending him a jersey, Zlatan signing it and sending it back to LeBron. Mm absolute fantastic he is now at monaco he is old but he still scored 16 in 16 his goal scoring record in all competitions he's got 930 goals in the league sorry in uh in in league play which is all this tracks here and 709 appearances latan is going off i also have to say this has reset um he's got 205 caps for croatia at the time here but he has more than four goals as you would have seen it seems like we hit a number 
and then it, it kind of reset. So I believe he's at uh, 264 goals internationally now, um, and he's just really, really fallen off physically. 36 years of age. Mentally, he's absolutely fantastic, but he's gone on to have an absolute ludicrous career the second time around. He's played for all sorts of managers. He's played for all sorts of teams. If we go and have a look at his... Uh, milestones let's have a look at some of his competitions here you will be able to see actually let's go and have a look at his biography Woof! this is huge okay so i will pull out some of the better ones here um he has amassed a phenomenal record it says here of 112 competition wins throughout the course of his career he's won copa libertadores he's won mls titles he's won champions leagues he's won domestic honors in so many leagues in the world it is crazy 112 competition wins and i can only assume that he has won multiple ballon doors let's have a look yes it has been a nice run for zlatan ibrahimovic obviously you can see the era of Kylian mbappe and erling Haaland is still a thing even with a player of this caliber in terms of the Ballon d'Or competition because he's been battling it around and he was scoring well over a goal a game at this particular point, 2026, 2027, and he still wasn't making it in until 27, 28. He finally got in there representing Brentford, which is ludicrous. Then Kylian Mbappe wins it back. Haaland, uh, nowhere to be seen here. Mbappe, Kavarit Skellia and Jude Bellingham at Liverpool. That's awkward, uh, winning it. And then Zlatan goes on a little bit of a tear, winning it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years in a row. And then he gets ousted by all of the new gens, as you can see here. Peter Arnett, again, Man City player, looks phenomenal coming out of Celtic. Um, but Zlatan has gone on to have a fantastic career. If we go and take a look at the um, team of the year, and then we reset this to all seasons, Zlatan is there. And out of all the clubs, he's representing Real Madrid. This has been the career re-simulation of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Let me know what you think of it and if you do like these kind of experiments and player recreations, let me know down in the comment section. Check out this playlist. It's popping up right here. It's all the experiments that we've done on this year's game.